Jump off that thing, you can do a slap them things down. Ma, what you talking about? No, Ma, you sit, like you, what you call it, you strapped in. And they, not how they can for them, fall out. Hey, hey, You know that, that wet gun, that makes me go and do that. Come here. Hey, Bri. You okay? Them all the We are waiting for the little jet ski thing to come back. Okay, what was your telephone? See y'all in a minute. So we have a liquid sunshine. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very nice for you to come down here without the weather. You can see it's really good. Yeah, yeah, very good. All right, y'all. So we have made it back from the Cayman Islands. All I can say is, your girl is tired. I probably don't lost a couple lashes, which is totally fine. Um, today was definitely a ten out of ten. Definitely better than yesterday. Um, I didn't get a chance to go on any excursions yesterday. That's a story for another day. But the Grand Caymans is very, very beautiful. The people are beautiful. And we just had a good time on the beach. Um, I got some footage of me doing a water sport, so I'm probably going to um, insert it here in, um, in this uh, clip. So you guys can see a little bit of what we did um, while we were in the Caymans, a little bit of walking around. Um, but our trip is sadly almost over. Um, tomorrow we have another... <clears throat> fun day at sea and then after the fun day at sea we will be porting in Miami and we will be heading back to Tallahassee um, Tuesday evening like around 6 o'clock so I think we're gonna do um, an excursion in Miami where we um, do like a tour in the history of Miami and that's gonna kind of hold us over until it's time for us to get on our flights <coughs> but sorry I didn't vlog like start to vlog earlier in the cruise y'all it's just been been an experience <laughs> it's been a time and I've been enjoying it to say the least um, I really just wanted to get some time and to enjoy before I picked up the camera um, but y'all we've had a good time though we've had a good time being with family having fun laughing and just exploring other cultures we didn't get a chance to get like no oxtails or no curry chicken but the beef patties I done had in Jamaica and in the Caymans Bussing, okay, but let me show y'all the uh, <clears throat> our balcony. Hold on, put my shoes on, and of course, Avery got us watching cartoons. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Hey, 
Avery. I'm not going nowhere. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Come on, you coming? Okay, I can't leave the door open, buddy. Which one are you gonna do? You gonna stay in or out? Avery, what are you gonna do? Hold on, y'all. Come out here real quick. I just wanna show the balcony. So, the balcony, I don't know if you can see it, no. but that is the bow. Focus, focus on the back of the boat. But that's the island that we came from over there. That is the celebrity cruise, and then these are the lovely people that have been over that home. Hey, stop! Bye. 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 That helped us get back safely. Um, but yeah, y'all, it has been an amazing experience. Um, we did a cruise. Did a cruise in March, and it was our first time. Well, it was my first time going in a long time. Um, but just to be able to, you know, experience uh, the Caribbean um, with my family has definitely been one for the books. Um, don't know if we're gonna be going on one anytime soon because five days with a four-year-old yeah that's neither here nor there but it's definitely a lot okay um but yeah Santa Liz carnival has been treating us really really well the food has been bomb um but the only thing that i will say is that carnival isn't well i'm not gonna say they're not i'm just gonna say what i experienced they are not um autism friendly um low key, like all in a nutshell they didn't want to make accommodations for avery um they just didn't want to have someone give him one-on-one -on -one attention or just stick beside him just to make sure that he wasn't doing anything which is cool comes with the territory people really don't understand um what they do when they do that but it's totally fine um he just won't be going on another one with me anytime soon <laughs> um but we're on the boat um and then we're getting ready to take showers and we're gonna go get some food my mom is like tired and it takes a lot to get my mom tired <laughs> so we're gonna uh definitely get that get her some food and let her sleep and let her rest because avery is tired too he gonna try to fight it but mommy gonna hang out y'all look at my lashes oh my god and that's from the salt Good morning, good morning, and Merry Christmas! Cheese! Say cheese! Cheese! Oh, there is cheese! Cheese! So today is Christmas, which means it's Monday, which means we have, this is our last uh, full day on the ship. Low key, like, thank God, because I'm ready to get back to my bed. Hey, say cheese, Avery. Uh-uh. Say cheese! Cheese! Yay! Yay! Okay, let me finish, okay? Because I am low-key ready to get back to my bed. I'm just ready to get back to normal routine. Um, so apparently we like rode through a storm last night. 
grenade. Yeah. Grenade. I didn't feel that because I was knocked out. Y'all, the Cayman Islands really like tired me out. Like I went and got some food, came back. I had to go pick up my mom's watches that she purchased on board. And then we caught this little like vintage pop show. And y'all, there were, I got some clips of it. I'm gonna insert. But y'all, this one girl was just blowing the house down. Like, girl, why aren't you like selling out arenas? Like, why aren't you like producing an album? Because baby, she had vocals. Okay? Vocals. Okay. But yeah. So we're getting ready to go. Yes. Uh, Wanna say hello? Cheese. Cheese. I've been tick tock. Cheese. Cheese. I've been tick tock. Cheese. We're getting ready to. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me finish. Let me finish, okay? Can I finish? Huh? Can I finish? Huh? Let me finish. And so we're getting ready to go um, get breakfast and see what they what they have on deck for like Christmas um, celebration, and then they have a disembarking uh, presentation at 11:30. Not sure if we're really gonna go to that uh, because y'all they changing up the process. But since our flight isn't until six o'clock Tuesday. Um, we're probably gonna go on an excursion um, in Miami just to, you know, kill time and waste time and not have to be just, you know, sitting around like we did when we got here on Wednesday. Got here on Thursday. I'm sorry. But yeah, y'all. Um, it's been very eventful. I'm really ready, just ready to go back home. <laughs> I'm ready to like get back in my zone. But I would say though, um, not having social media for a couple days and not being able to really like talk to people for a couple days has been very refreshing. But it's also making me like, okay, I'm rejuvenated and it's time to get back to it. Um, 2024 is going to be an amazing year. Um, I'm like super duper excited about it. And plus, Avery doesn't go back to school until January 3rd. Today's 25th. So yeah, there's that. But I'm gonna think positive about it. I'm gonna, you know, because if his other daycare is open, he's going to his other daycare. He's going to his other school. Um, but other than that, yeah, like we're just up getting our day started. It's like almost like 9.30, so breakfast ends at 10.30. So we're gonna gonna do that um, and probably just walk around the ship and see what they have um, and probably just start packing and getting ready for um, tomorrow because they do kick us off the boat pretty early. Like you have to be off the boat by 8.45. Um, but the excursions that we looked into for Miami, they start at eight. So we'll definitely probably be out of here by like 7.15. Um, so we can get to where we need to go for the excursions. But other than that, y'all, I'm like super excited five days on the water don't know how my legs are gonna feel when i get off because i've really been rocking 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 um but yeah it's been it's been an experience though um i'll probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10 7.5 out of 10 because kids know they don't know rest you got your clothes on you ready oh no, I ain't talking about you. I'm just saying in general, I'm ready to go eat. I was not gonna put you on the camera. She loved being on camera. She made me watch it. But anyway, I will check back in with you guys once we get back from breakfast. Um, yeah, countdown. Let's 24 hours. We will be back at the his house, and I'm gonna try to vlog some more today um, about what we do. I'm definitely wanna go try the sushi place that's here, and I'll probably get me like. One more drink. Just one. The daiquiris are hitting. I don't drink hard liquor unless I'm with my friends, but I barely do with them. But the daiquiris are hitting. Okay? They're hitting. But I will see you in a little bit. Hey! Hey, hey! Hi, hi! Good morning, good morning. We have arrived safely back in Miami. It is currently 6:25. Um we have to be off the boat um <coughs> 
by 8 30 but the way our excursion is set up we really have to be off well in our little uh meeting area at 7 30 so we can meet load our stuff um onto the bus for the excursion and then we're gonna take a tour uh the top 10 of miami something to kill time because our flight isn't until six um so we're just gonna do something to kill time um but y'all when i say i'm just so happy to be home like kudos to the people that can cruise for a week or weeks at a time i'm definitely not there yet um yeah like maybe if cruises had like bigger state rooms like i would be like you know but i'm not gonna lie this has been a very um enjoyable experience though like i've been so happy to like unplug and get away from the internet get away from social media for a couple of days and kind of like whoo and like focus on spending time with my mom and my sisters and my son so um, i'm excited but i just want to check in and let you guys know that we have made it safely back to miami um my mom went to go pick up some things that she ordered from the shops on um on the boat um and then we'll be moving and grooving trying to get off the boat um but i don't know if you can see him oh nope he is still knocked out over there y'all still knocked out over there so that's what my day is gonna look like so i'll check back in with you once we start doing um our little tour around miami but y'all we made it almost home to tell us here we go i'll check back in with y'all in a little bit This is where Mr. Versace passed away. 1996, he was assassinated on his front steps. It is now a hotel and a restaurant. The hotel ranges anywhere between $1,500 to $5,000 a night. Just depends how fancy you want to get. And the restaurant... Give me vice. Cops. The list goes on. All right? Now, I do want to take a second here to break down everybody's day. And this pink building coming up now is called Astra on your left. It's an amazing rooftop restaurant and bar. Beautiful views of the city. Extremely expensive, man. I took a date there one time. Walked right back downstairs. Take a look on your right hand side, one of the last concrete factories. It's still full operation. Oh, 
Ooh, hold on, let me let this focus. All right, y'all. So we are finally back from our cruise. Um, I got a little little story to tell. Um, so we got off the boat yesterday around like 7 30 ish yeah like 7 30 a.m um our flight back home to tallahassee wasn't until about six o'clock that six o'clock yesterday night so we decided to like sign up do an excursion you know to kill time so the night before um we were supposed we set our luggage out for them to check our luggage and the man told us um that hold on y'all my lens just fell off isn't that something um the man told us that we will um we will be able to it's okay we will be able to get our luggage back once um we get uh on the the boat for the excursion so y'all tell me why we get on the bus to go to the excursion they talking about oh where is your luggage um the guest services man said that they were gonna bring it and put it under the bus and he was like no 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 you have to you know you should be with your luggage and we were like what that's not what he said so make a long story short we ended up having to take the excursion and we caught a lift out in the winwood the art district in miami and so Caught a lift back, y'all. One, we got off at the wrong terminal. We were picked up at F, but the ship that we were on was um on D at D. So remind y'all, it's Miami. It's like 80 degrees. Like we're hot, we're tired, we're frustrated. So we walk all the way to D, get to the terminal, and we go find the lady that um talked to my mama before we left and went um on the excursion. Found her, which was cool then we went um and waited on them to bring our bags back so y'all they brought our bags back my little sister's luggage her wheel was like broken like she could barely roll it and it's a new suitcase my mom's suitcase which her little travel bag where she puts her um like her laptop and things in her books was scuffed up really really bad and it's a and it's an expensive it's an expensive bag and so you know they were nice about it they were very helpful and they're like oh we're gonna give you a guest services card um for you to you know file your claim and you know go from there okay cool and y'all at that time we were just ready to like get home we went to the airport we waited ate some tgi fridays and got back home um the flight home was a little shaky not gonna lie i don't know what's been going on with the winds and the turbulence but hmm but i'm just so happy to be back home y'all so it's really like 2 55 the next day which is a wednesday um i've really been home like resting and like cleaning up um and i forgot to close out the uh travel vlog but all in all we had a good time celebrating christmas um on the cruise um i would definitely give it like an eight out of ten um yeah, 8 out of 10. The only thing with the luggage and then the whole thing about camp kind of brought it to an 8. But other than that, it was great to unplug, unwind, and like really spend time with my family. And I was so thankful for that. Um, so yeah, I just want to close out this vlog by saying I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas holiday with your families or whoever you chose to spend it with. And if you do have a chance to get out and travel with your family and spend time with them, please do that. Um, life is just so short. You never know what's going to happen and you never want the last memories of you being with somebody to be bad one. So be a bad one. So please. Go see your family. Go talk to them. Go love on them. And even if you have to love them from a distance, that's fine. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed us traveling and experiencing new things. Um, we had an amazing time. So I will catch you in the next one. Bye.